What is up guys? It's your boy Scythe or Chris, whatever you guys want to call me, and today it's not Midnight Madness, of course, but it's the day that basically Renji's Abarai, Renji Abarai, 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 his new abilities have been come out, uh, you know, we, let's just, just dissect them and let's see what's up. So, Renji Abarai, character quest info. Uh, shout out to um, Original Content HD, by the way, so go check out the website, it'll be down below in the description. A new character quest this August will be added to Ore Collection. New unit, Renji, from Bleach will be available. The period that it starts is the 23rd 12 to the 30th. So, let's see. It's the 21st. So, in two days. So, not today, but tomorrow night is when he's going to come out. So, be be ready for that. Farm him up, OB6, bang, another OB6 character to add to your uh, character box. Amazing. Uh, as character quest or a character quest, you know, there's three star vouchers that you get from uh, free to play events, and then you, uh, you know, you collect 50, trade them for a 53 star copy, bang bang. The Renji quest days, when it's back, when it's back to like its original day or like, uh, like regular times, it'll be Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. During this event, uh, Renji's uh, a character quest will be available for one week straight. For now, don't worry about uh, quest challenge times to start farming. Exactly. So you have a full seven days to farm him without the worry. And then after that, it'll be thrown thrown back into uh, you know Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. So be ready for that. So 100% max out all that stuff. Special missions will be held. So make sure that you do this all in the first week. Remember that these missions, these special missions, are only held in the first week. So remember to do that. Let's keep going. So, uh, alright, so stage information, stage will feature AGL units, uh, intelligence units are recommended, uh, Renju, uh, will normal attack three times per turn, and his ultimate attack on can stun, so be prepared. Oh, okay, interesting. Alright, so, that is his character, character art, that's, I'm not gonna lie to you, this card art looks pretty nice, I, I like it, I like it, I think it's pretty cool, to be honest. So, uh, let's go, alright, here we go. Alright. Gotai 13, Lieutenant of the 6th Division, Renji Barai, from Bleach. Type AGL, Class DPS, Era 2000s. Ultimate Attack, uh, he, 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 uh, Zabimaru, boost its units damage, damage dealt to enemies with a monster characteristic by a mega amount for one turn and inflicts 700% damage to the target. Inflict a further 100% damage to the enemy main team. So, you're initially doing, um... 800% damage to one whole target uh, you are doing 100% damage to the main team but 700% uh, to the person that you're attacking and then if they're still alive you're doing another 100% like say for example raid events uh, skill 1 oath of the soul boost all allies damage dealt to strength enemies by a large amount for three turns if they have the divine characteristic roll forward their ultimate attack cooldown by 15% 32 seconds of the cooldown. 37 seconds for the ultimate cooldown. Interesting. Skill 2. Hikotsu Taiho. I inflict 250% damage to the target. Uh, cooldown is 27 seconds. Alright. Uh, Higazeku. Inflict 8 random hits of 120% that ignore defense. 34 seconds. So initially, 8, hit, eight random hits. So let's say you're facing one enemy. So all the 8 random hits are going to hit that one enemy. So it won't really be random, but it'll be towards that one enemy. So uh, let's, let's let's talk about it. So um, basically, 800% damage. And then 20 times, uh, you know, uh, let's say 20 times 8 is basically what? Uh, 160%? Yep, 160%. So 160% plus 800%, 960%, 960% plus the damage you're doing up here, uh, say 800%, you're initially doing 1600%, maybe, in total, to be honest. Yeah, 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 you're pretty much doing that much. Um, Alright, interesting, interesting. Uh, cool down, 34 seconds. Passives. Boost the attack of all AGL, um, AGL team members, AGL team members by a medium amount, alright. Boost the ultimate attack damage of all team members with a divine characteristic by a medium amount. Reduce the damage received by AGL team members from this unit when the monster uh, characteristic by a medium amount. From units with the monster characteristic from a medium amount. Alright, so uh, let me talk about him and just see what my opinion is and what I think about this character. Honestly, he's a pretty cool character. I don't know who has the divine characteristic, which is something I really want to find out after this video, after I'm done recording this. Um... I want to find out all the people that have the divine characteristic and who would be pretty cool. Um, 
with his uh, first uh, first uh, first skill. 15% cooldown, ultimate cooldown uh, by 15%. That is 32 seconds. That does suck. But um, I'm pretty. I, I'm not sure if there's other people that have a uh, like AGM members that can reduce his seconds and um, boost it, uh, boost it up by a lot. So I'm gonna be looking into that. Um, retro spec. If you guys are wondering why it says monster characteristic, uh, this is pretty much coming around the same time as a uh, Togoro, 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 younger Togoro. So uh, Togoro from Yu Yu Hakusho is gonna come out as a raid unit. Uh, what is it? The Super Assault Quest raid unit, the second version of the Assault Quest. Um, basically, this character, you, he has the monster characteristic. So Renji, let's say this, Renji, uh, Saint Seiya's Divine. Uh, I'm not sure who else, but Saint Seiya and this guy are probably going to be doing some massive damage, depending on how much attack they give this guy. But regardless, you can just put in some coma if you really feel like, uh, you know, you really like the character and uh, how much damage he's outputting. Just put some coma and bang, you're gonna fix that issue in no time. Um, this guy, uh, Renji and uh, Renji and uh, what's his name, Saint Seiya, are pretty much gonna be very helpful with this event. Uh, Saint Seiya is gonna be doing his uh, what is it, ultimate and skills? Is it? Is it ultimate and skills? Uh, if they have divine rolled forward, their ultimate is cooldown. So their ultimate cooldown is gonna be basically all ready to go, really fast. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. Um, yeah. So honestly, uh, this unit. I like him. He's really good. I I like him because of his uh, skill three, eight hits of 120%. That's initially 960%. If I'm not um, incorrect there, uh, yeah, 960%. Plus that's 34 seconds, and plus um, the ultimate attack itself, which is technically 800%. If you're facing like one unit, it's by yourself. Um, that's initially what? Not 16. It's 1700. Uh, 7 1760 percent damage that you're actually doing to the enemy. I think 1700. I don't know. Uh, 17. Yeah, 1700. I think. Yeah, 1700. Um, it's a lot of damage you're outputting. Uh, you're boosting all your strength allies. You know, you're, this is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This guy from retrospect from like just looking at the pictures looking at the his stats and info oh uh, his stats ha ha haven't come out his info of his skills and ultimates and passives honestly this unit is really good i really do suggest and the thing is cool is his era 2000s um the thing that i do suggest guys is really make sure to um ob6 him he is really interesting as a character to be honest um Togoro, I'm, I'm assuming Togoro is going to be, you know, somewhat difficult. I hope he's difficult. Um, I'll be able to use my Saint Seiya. I'll max this guy out. I'll definitely do a raid showcase of, well, I'll definitely do a, a stage of, you know, a run through, a stage four, a four unit stage run of, of, of Renji. Then I'll be using him to destroy Togoro. And then I'll be showcasing Togoro and, you know, all this stuff. So, um, yeah, so my personal opinion, farm this unit, OB6, he's really good, um, regardless, even even if he doesn't uh, show up to be really good, like if his attack stat is really low or some, some shit, some shit, I don't know, um, regardless, uh, he's in free OB6 unit, definitely farm him, he can definitely fit on a PvP, uh, a PvE, not PvP, a PvE uh, team so that'll be very useful on future events where they basically bring out more uh, monster type characteristics uh, regardless he's still doing 700% damage and he's also doing uh, mega mount for one turn and he's doing 700% damage and he's doing a hundred percent damage so he's still he's doing 800% and he's doing a further uh, you know 960% right here so regardless even if he is monster or not um, the enemies that you face this guy is still gonna do some very heavy, heavy damage, regardless. The cool thing I like about it is this era 2000s. They haven't really been bringing out some some crazy units like that for JAs. I have a video coming out soon uh, explaining some of that. Some maybe like uh, future predictions and all that cool stuff that might be coming out. Um, that's about it. Other than that, you guys remember to smash that like button. Let's try to get. 50 likes, maybe 30 likes if it's possible. I'm not sure. Um, smash the subscribe button. Comment below what you think about the new Ranger unit. Do you think he's good? Are you going to definitely OB6 him? Like, tell me all about it. Um, join the Discord down below. It's going to be in the description. Shout out to uh, Original Content HD. And that's about it. You guys have a wonderful day. You guys take care. And peace.